Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. I have a great guest in studio today. He is from Right Size Facility Performance. It's Mason Autry, and you're the president. Now, Right Size, I think it's a great name for the company. And you do something that we probably don't think about or that we take for granted when we walk into offices when they're wonderfully done. That's what you do. We do. We uh, walk in and evaluate the overall workplace environment of an organization and decide what we can do to increase its both efficiency and productivity. That's awesome. Now, Right Size, I think, it's a, you know, as I said before, a wonderful name. And But how did it get started? You guys have an, a little bit of an interesting uh, background. I think that's well, really the nice. name actually, Right Size, is a commercial real estate term. Okay. Um, most folks say that when an organization is growing, they're expanding, and when they're shrinking, they're downsizing. Right sizing is the uh, when a large organization looks at its employee base and its real estate uh, total facility count and evaluates, do we need more space, less space, and how do we go about fitting the right people in for the future? So that's, that's the right sizing part. That's nice. Um, yeah, but we started in the business uh, as a liquidator uh, in which we went in and we focused on facility decommissioning which is wow. the often less than glamorous part of a commercial real estate transaction. Right, you're the guys that come in late at night. We come in to vacant buildings after a company has moved, gone bankrupt, uh, downsized, and we bring the space back to its original condition to enable the next tenant to come in. And, and, and from there, you've kind of really grown the business, and you're now on the more glamorous side of things? We are. So in the beginning, uh, we were very much behind the scenes. We were taking out hundreds of trailer loads of furniture, fixtures, equipment, IT. Uh, we quickly realized that if we didn't have a home for some of these, that we were going to need uh, an incredible amount of space. <laughs> So early on, we uh, developed an internet presence uh, in which we could resell the product from a very transactional perspective. Ten years later, we're a full design furnish organization. And that's awesome because we don't often, as business owners or operators, think about the message that our, our space gives. Tell me about what message that space gives and how it helps both not only my customer base but my internal customer, my employee. Well, the overall aspect of the workplace environment is going to relate to several different things. Mm -hmm. One, from a branding perspective, if an organization is growing, they're recruiting, they're bringing new folks in, walking in the door, that first image is very important. Um, first impressions. Sure. To say, is this the type of place I want to work at? Is this where I envision myself for the next three, five, ten years, or even longer? So from an external perspective, whether it's the recruiting process and creating that brand and image, or from an internal perspective when someone comes in, slugging it out every day at work, and looking around and say, is this me? Right. Is this where I want to be? Do I feel productive? Do I feel as though this fits who I am? And, and I think that's important. I think, you know, as, a, as an employer and that, that sometimes we're just really focused on getting the job done that we don't think about the space that we're dwelling in or, that, or what image necessarily that we're projecting out to our customers when they come in because you kind of get used to your surroundings. So That's very true. Uh, I would say that the West Coast technology companies have very much brought to light the, re the realities of workplace environments. Right. Uh, we've all heard the stories mm -hmm. of what goes on out in Silicon Valley and uh, how people are able to work and empowered to work. Mm -hmm. um, and in today's world where people are working smarter and there is more technology and there's less what we'd consider to be technical level jobs mm -hmm. within the office environment. There's more creative jobs, there's more thinking jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, the business owners and, and operators are looking at a way of how do we get the most out of people's brain. Right, no, and, I, and how do we make them comfortable? How do we get them inspired in their workspace? I think that's really important. I think one of the nice things you do, Mason, is that, again, thinking from an employer side of that, you know, this is. I, I'm a, a TV producer here, but it's not, it's not my forte. I'm not an interior designer, but you, you come in and you know how to do that. And you can help me. We have a great staff. That's awesome. Um, we have 25 plus certified interior designers on staff um, who are very educated, trained, and have the passion. Uh, they are the uh, machine that drives the organization. So while we incorporate product, with the brain side of it mm -hmm. uh, in labor to make it all happen. It's really the uh, design team that drives it all forward. And we talked a little bit about off camera, off camera about how you price it and how you put it in a range because I think the other thing we have a little bit, you know, we have to pay for it. 
you know, and that's the other thing that, you know, as employers, and you think, oh, my God, i got to play for employees, and now they want, they want a fun and creative environment. How do I get that all to work together? But you, you've come up with a really nice idea. Of yeah, our, range. our unique value proposition is that we work in both pre-owned, remanufactured, and new furniture. So awesome. as a result, uh, we have what we call a VIP Plus program. There's value, innovation, performance, and a performance plus model. Each one of those has an aesthetic quality to it. Mm -hmm. um, and as a result, we know that price points are going to come in between 8 and $15 a square foot. And that's, you know, it's fascinating to me, you know, 8 to 20 square foot. You know, you have to think about square foot. And that, um, and I, I just think that, you know, right size, right name, right size, right place at the right time. You know, you just can, you that's can, our operations should, team model. Right but, product, right place, right time. And it all goes together in the, and today, especially as we are spending a lot of time working, that you know, most people don't realize that how much time they spend here. That's important to have the right office environment. Oh, for sure. Uh, people spend as much time in the office as they do at home. If not a little bit more. Yes, at times a lot more. A lot, a <laughs> lot more. It, it's, it goes to early in the startup days. Especially yeah. it goes to having the passion for the job too. Yeah. But I wanted to take, as we've got about a minute left, I wanted to take a moment to thank you, Mason. Because as I talk to you here about right size and, and doing a, a, a change of attitude in an env office environment, I have to think of my of us here at Naperville Community Television that a year ago that you had decommissioned um, a company that we were connected with and then we got um, you generously donated a whole bunch of new furniture which helped us tremendously. Well you're it, welcome. The space looks great. It, it does and it, it went from you know something that you know we just kind of put together as we grew and now we needed something a little bit more and never thought about how that space would work and, and what impact it would make. So we we learned a whole bunch too and cannot thank you enough for your generosity. Well, you're very welcome. We're glad we can help out. Uh, like I said, the space looks really good, and you can tell there's a lot of smiles on people's faces around here. So. Right. Well, you helped bring them there, Mason. So thank you very much. Pleasure. We're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.